everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well and i've had a lovely day today's video is going to be all about my tips on traveling with young children like flying and also like on holiday and things i've learned along the way and we've recently come back from tenerife with my two boys which is alfie who is four and woody who's just turned six months old he turned six months while we were away so yeah, um, I've experienced going on a plane with two young children and being on holiday with them. So I thought I would share with you some of the tips that I think will be helpful to you if you are going away with young children or if you just want a little bit of an insight into how we coped on holiday with two young ones. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get straight into it and just share with you some of the things that I have picked up and I hope that this helps you um, if you are going on holiday soon and if you are, I hope you have a fabulous time because holidays are just the best. I'm so sad to be back home. I've got real bad holiday blues. So I've made a little list on my phone just of some of the tips and things that I wanted to talk about in this video because I knew that if I didn't write it down I'd just end up stuttering and not being able to think properly of what I wanted to actually talk to you about. So we'll start off with like the plane and things. Um, if you have a young ch a young child that's under one, then I would highly, highly recommend taking the carrier. If you've got a baby carrier, if you um, have a carrier, then I would highly recommend wearing them and carrying them till you get on the plane. It's just so much easier. You then don't have to push a buggy around while having to try and hold a toddler, while having suitcases. Um, as well as everything like that so you've got them on your here so you've got hands free you can use one hand to get your job look then you've got your hand for your suitcases you've got a bag and everything it's just kind of chaos at the airport so you want to try and make it as stress-free as possible so if you've got a carrier then I would highly recommend sticking your baby in the carrier until you get on the plane and just putting the pram in the hot in the hold straight away with the suitcases because that made life for us so much easier this time also try and make it exciting try not to show the children that you're stressed about being at the airport because i think that's probably the hardest part is well going through like security is the most stressful part because you've got to take everything out of the bags and you've got to make sure you've got not got things on you and got things on your feet and stuff like that and it's just a bit stressful but i think if you try and just act cool and just try and keep calm and i think the children will try and like the children will be the same and it might make life a little bit easier for you try not to take things that aren't necessary so yeah you may need a little outfit change for the child on the plane if you're taking a baby um, i took just another baby girl for woody and lots i took about six nappies on the plane and then some wipes and i took a pouch of food and obviously because i'm breastfeeding i don't need to take bottles so i don't know how that would work if you do need to take bottles because i can't remember with alfie um but they do allow you to take like a certain amount of things through especially baby food and baby milk they, they allow you to take it through so um as for like packing try not to take too much just so then you're not having to carry loads of things and everything like that um if you have got a child like that's for like Alfie, try and get a good rucksack for them so they can help you out and carry that. Um, and then you've got your own and then once the bags are in the hold and things, it just makes life a little bit easier. Um, I just don't think you need to overpack too many things. As long as they've got like Alfie took his tablet on the plane and it had some colours and some colours and then he took some little cars and I packed like some sweets and things for him to keep him entertained and then with Woody you don't really need much for a baby I took him two toys like some um, teething toys and like another little colourful toy and then obviously the nappies a change of clothes and some wipes and a food pouch and then with me breastfeeding it makes life a little bit easier as well because I don't have to take milk and bottles and um, but if you are taking milk and bottles then that's just how it's going to be um, but the end of the day as long as you've not got too much things then you should be okay another thing i would recommend about going on holiday is do not buy an expensive buggy or a brand new buggy just to go on holiday with um ours got absolutely wrecked in the hold and when we got to tenerife i was devastated because i was kindly sent that pram um by mamas and papas and i was going to be reviewing it for them and it got absolutely wrecked so i was really upset about that because then i couldn't review the pram and um, so that's me out of work and also we didn't have then a pram to use which i was really upset about so anyway that got sorted and we ended up hiring a pram which i didn't even think twice about before i would have been a holiday that you can actually hire prams and most places i guess will do that and um, there was just a guy in a van who would come round and on the van it actually said like hair, hair straighteners hair dryers um 
mobile things for elderly people, prams, all sorts of things like that. Um, because obviously when you get on holiday sometimes you forget these things and you can just hire them. It was 60 euros for us to hire um, for 10 days, which I think is really good and reasonable. We had the baby jogger and it was a fab pram. It was really good, big and chunky and really good wheels. And obviously with us having Alfie as well, I didn't even think about that. And I really should have done more because he wanted to get in the pram all the time because he didn't want to walk. And when we go on holiday, me and Steve really like to walk on the beach and have them have a little rest through the day and he'll, he'll have a sleep. So, with the baby jogger, it was great for Alfie as well to fit in because it was quite a big chunky thing and sturdy. Uh, whereas the other mams and papas one that we had probably wouldn't have been great for Alfie. It was it's very lightweight and it only is supposed to go from six months to three years anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm really glad that we took the carrier and Alfie sometimes went in the pram. So if you do, if you are going on holiday and you're thinking about taking a brand new buggy, I really wouldn't recommend it even consider getting out there and hiring one if you've got a carrier then you don't need one to get to the airport and stuff you can just carry a baby on the plane and then once you get to your accommodation just hire the pram and it saves you then having to worry about getting your pram damaged or anything like that and then you can just hire one and then give it back at the end of the holiday um, so I would definitely recommend doing that if you are thinking about going on holiday because it's super easy and just then you don't have to worry about your pram being ruined one thing I would recommend about holidaying with young children is just try not to worry about routine too much. Just forget about it while you're on holiday. Just have fun with them. Routine kind of goes out the window. Well, it did for us. We just let Woody and Alfie just do what they want kind of thing on holiday. Um, obviously, it, it, we had like a bedtime and stuff and that kind of stayed the same routine. Like Woody went to sleep in his, in his sleeping bag and things and... Um, it just we just did the kind of normal bedtime routine what we would do at home but he didn't go to bed at seven o'clock like he did at home he went to bed at like 10 o'clock um he was asleep in the pram while we were out on evening and stuff so he was asleep most of the time but we didn't really do like a proper routine and stick to it he just kind of fed when he wanted ate when he wanted um went to sleep when he wanted and same with alpha he had a nap through the day and things so it just all changes so don't panic about having a routine on holiday just enjoy yourselves all of you and just go with the flow and just enjoy it because they'll be absolutely exhausted by the end of the day anyway so they will sleep at night because they've been having fun in the pool and things like that one thing i would also like to let you know is if you are planning on going away at the beginning of the year to like tenerife to the canary islands to like grand canary or somewhere like that that is going to be really warm but the pools are not very warm. We, when we was in Tenerife, the pool was absolutely freezing and woody. Half the time, didn't want to go in it. Um, he spent, of the holiday, he probably spent about, I'm not even an hour, half an hour maybe of the whole holiday, of the whole 10 days in the swimming pool. He didn't go in the pool much at all. He didn't like the cold on his feet and he just got really upset. Um, yeah, towards the end of the day, it obviously got warmer because the sun had been on it, but God, it was freezing most of the day. So if you are planning on going away um, at the beginning of the year or anything, just take into consideration that the pools will be probably freezing unless your pool is heated. Also, with like swimming nappies and stuff, I bought some of the Little Angel swimming nappies from Asda for Woody and I just reused them. I'd wring them out because literally he went in the pool for like five minutes each time. So just after we... After he'd been in the pool, I would just wring it out because he'd only either done a week, he'd never done a poo in it. So I just would wring it out and then just leave it to dry and then he would just reuse it. And it worked a treat. So don't go spending like loads on packets of them and taking them with you because honestly you don't need them. You can just wring them out as long as they're not really dirty. Um, but I think you do get like 10 in a pack anyway. And if you are going away with a really young child like Woody, then they won't be in the pool much, I don't think, anyway, like Woody wasn't, so. We actually went all-inclusive this time, which we've never done before. Um, we just got a really good de deal with Jet2, and we ended up going all-inclusive. Um, I would definitely recommend it, because, especially with children, it's just great because you get your drinks and everything included. Um, like, Alfie would go on an afternoon and go get an ice cream from the thing, which was just free, and you could just go and get as many as you wanted, which... Obviously, Alfie was just like, can I have another ice cream? Can I have another ice cream? And then also, like, our hotel anyway had um, the breakfast out until, like, 11 o'clock in the... They had two different restaurants. So they had one near the swimming pool area and then one inside the hotel. And then the one near the swimming pool area, they would leave all the breakfast things out. So if you was, like, late... If you was late getting up, you could go and still get some food because there would still be some there. 
it was just all day and it was just great for the kids for us and everything like drinks like alcoholic drinks and stuff everything was free so I would definitely recommend all inclusive and sometimes you can get a really good deal with them if sometimes you see hotels that are like self catering and then if you just add it up to all inclusive it's sometimes only like 200 pound extra for like the the 10 days that you plan on going self catering so I would definitely recommend doing it we didn't actually eat in the hotel much on an evening we'd go out because we really enjoy going out and going to different things and sometimes it can get a little bit repetitive especially when you're eating there for breakfast and dinner and then like snacks and things so we just wanted to go out and enjoy like the restaurants in Tenerife because we really enjoy the restaurants in Tenerife um but like I say the food was great where we were um so I think if you were to go all inclusive just check out the reviews first about food if it's and see whether it's good or not but I would definitely recommend all inclusive because it's just fab you've just always got something there if you want a snack or if you want a drink you know that you can just go and get one whenever you want another thing I would recommend doing before you're going to go abroad is take nappies from the UK swimming nappies from the UK normal nappies from the UK and wipes because on holiday they're so expensive I paid I think 10 euros 90 for a packet of for a, um, a pack of Pampers nappies in the in the supermarket which I was like devastated about because over here it's like sometimes like £2.50 for a big packet of nappies in Asda and stuff I was like oh I'm not paying £10.90 for some nappies 10, 10 euros 90 this was crazy so I was really not happy about that and then also like with the wipes I paid three euros fifty for just some basic wipes because we ran out and they were just like a, a brand I'd never even heard of and they were three euros fifty and like in supermarkets they're just a pound so it was quite frustrating so I would definitely recommend like stocking up on the nappies and the wipes and taking them in your suitcases so you've got plenty I did take quite a lot but we ended up running out just like the last two days so I had to buy some um but anyway yeah I would definitely recommend taking some with you from the UK before you go abroad also things like baby food because Woody is weaning now the baby food abroad is more expensive as well and they don't have as much choice like here we've got Ella's kitchen we've got little piccolos and uh, we've got lots of different things that have nice pouches and stuff and like nicer things to eat um they didn't have a great lot of choice in the supermarkets in Tenerife so and the more expensive are like the little glass jars and things they don't do any like pouches so again I would recommend to take quite a lot of pouches if you are weaning just so you've got something to be able to give them if there's not if they're not doing like baby led weaning and you want to take like some pouches then definitely stock up and take some with you on the in the luggage also another thing about flying if you are worried about flying with young children just try not to show it like when you get on the plane make it exciting make it like a ride try not to be like oh it's a plane eh, anything could happen just make it really fun and exciting um i think if they are going at a young age i think it's great because they get used to it we first took alfie on his first holiday when he was nine months old and it was an absolute dream i think once they go young and they go on quite a few trips they understand and learn um like that it's just it's just a plane and it's it's not difficult or scary or anything like that um Alfie loves the plane so much so luckily we're quite lucky that Alfie likes the plane enjoys it Woody also was really good um which we're very lucky for um but yeah I think if you try and stay relaxed and calm and make it fun and exciting and make sure there's just plenty for them to do and just distract them with then they'll be totally fine um like I said Alfie took his tablet he had lots of colours and things he had some juice he had some sweets he had a kinder egg he had another surprise egg he took some cars things like that um if you pop them out of the bag like oh we've got a new toy or something like that just a cheap one from the pound shop or anything it just it's a game changer so something like that will be great for the plane as for babies as long as they've got some milk i think it's good to try and keep them awake until they're getting on the plane and then when you're taking off um try and give them a feed um because then the ears won't hurt as much either and then they'll hopefully go to sleep for like an hour a good hour on the plane but yeah it, i think as long as you're kind of relaxed and chilled about it i think they will and the last thing i would highly recommend is going away at the younger stages like Woody is not really crawling well he's not crawling um he's not crawling or like moving at all so it was a great age to take him away it was just in his pram or it was sat with us and 
we wasn't like chasing him around and running around and Alfie is at a really good age now where he's in the pool and you can be sat at the side and you can be watching him because he's got his armbands on and you know that he's okay and you're just watching him and he's not running off somewhere that you can't see him or anything and he won't run off like to be cheeky because he's at that good age now where he knows to do as he's told um so i think we took them at a really good age yeah just because they're not on the move yet and you can relax a little bit that little bit more and you're not like feel like you're just constantly chasing them around because i think when they get to that stage of crawling and walking it is difficult on holiday because i remember when we went on the first holiday with Alfie at nine months he was crawling at this point so we did not relax whatsoever on that first holiday with Alfie. he was just like crawling around the pool ledge and we were just chasing him every single second of the day when it get any time to relax but i think because woody was still quite young he's just either been asleep in his pram or we've been holding him and alfie has been bobbing around in the pool and it's just been it's just been really nice and relaxing and enjoyable and we've not had to run around after everyone because obviously you want to relax on holiday as well as you've got children so you want to try and be able to relax as much as you can even though it's difficult with children <laughs> and another thing i wanted to recommend is the aldi sun cream we use that with the boys and i think it's absolutely fab and um, we use the 50 plus one from aldi and all their stuff like their range i can't remember the name of it um, but it's really good stuff like the moisturiser and everything's really fab but it's really affordable too um, and we got a huge like bottle about this big maybe of the kids sun cream and it lasted us the whole holiday and it's been fab they didn't burn they didn't even tan really so it was great um, so I would definitely recommend Aldi sun cream if you are planning on going away with young children so that is the end of this video I really hope you guys enjoyed it I hope it was helpful to some of you that are planning on going away with young children let me know in the comments if you are and where you are going I'd love to know and love to find out where you're going on holiday thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in the next video bye guys